Welcome to our third experiment, the greener reaction. Here's our basic setup with the retort stand at the back and the magnetic stirrer at the bottom. And here it's with the bosses clamped securely and clamped such that the bosses face upwards. Here we have a detailed view of the boss facing upwards. Next we are going to take the three-necked round bottom flask out of the oven so that it is dry. Before it's cooling down we are going to stopper one of the three necks. That stopper has to be secured with the yellow clip so that it doesn't fall off. Once that is achieved, next thing that it goes in is the magnetic stirrer bar that we will need to steer our solution. And once that is in, we quickly secure that onto our retort stand. The next piece of equipment that we are going to need will be the super seal. As we can see now, that is a piece of rubber, a rubber membrane that is put into the other neck of the round bottom flask and folded over the neck. And this way it sits tightly. Once that is done, we rotate the round bottom flask into position. The next piece of equipment is our reflux condenser, which can be put on easily if the whole arrangement was aligned vertically. And what remains is just to tighten the clamp so it sits securely. Final piece of equipment is our nitrogen bubbler where we have a nitrogen inlet at the bottom and a nitrogen outlet at the top. We put that on top of the reflux condenser and in this way this whole separator setup is sealed airtight. And all that remains is to connect the lines, the water for the reflux condenser and the nitrogen for the nitrogen bubbler. Now we connect the nitrogen inlet of the nitrogen bubbler with the nitrogen line and we secure it with a jubilee clip. Once that is done, we clip the nitrogen bubbler with a green clip securely on top of the reflux condenser. Next step is the water inlet to the reflux condenser. Remember that the bottom one is the inlet. Again we connect it to the line and secure it with the jubilee clip. And once that is done, we take the next tube and connect it to the outlet, which is the top of the reflux condenser. And again we have to secure that with a jubilee clip to make sure that it doesn't fall off while the reflux condensation is going on. Once we have connected everything, we adjust the nitrogen flow rate to one bubble per second, which helps us flush the whole apparatus with our inert gas atmosphere, which is nitrogen. Here we have our syringe and the needle which we took out of the oven so that it is dry. In order to connect it to the syringe, we just put them together, tighten them and from the reservoir suck in our liquid, which we can transfer now safely without involving any atmosphere into our round bottom flask. In order to do so, we take the needle at the tip and pierce through the septum. Once that is achieved, we just transfer the liquid by dispensing it from the syringe into the round bottom flask. This process takes some time because we don't want to transfer it too fast, but once it has finished, we again hold the needle at the top and pull it out of the septum and take it away. Here we see a setup in the fume cupboard, how it will look like when you do it actually. That's our nitrogen inlet with the blue color. Again, we seal it with the jubilee clip to make sure that it doesn't fall off. The same applies to the water inlet, which is green. Please don't forget the jubilee clip. Finally, we want to weigh down the water outlet so that it stays in the sink while that whole reaction is going on for roughly half an hour before it's finished.